What's going on everybody, it's Coach Harper here and in today's video we're going to be talking about speed training for kids in the weight room. This is a speed training workout without any weights, instead we're going to use some other tools. So we're going to get started here warming up on a treadmill and if you want a speed workout for the treadmill, you can watch this video right here, it shows you how to do that. So we're just going to get our normal warm up in before we jump into our first thing which is squats. Now don't skip ahead because I'm going to change the way you think about squats. Now squats are great for building leg strength and power which are essential for running faster. Now we're gonna stand shoulder width apart and we're gonna come down and sit like we're sitting in the chair. Now we want to put the weight on the heels as we're doing this. As you can see, my hand is under Chloe's foot and doing that will help with this. Now we wanna do three sets of 15 on this as this will help them push off the ground for faster running. Next up is medicine ball slams. This exercise builds power and explosiveness, which are key for a quick start and acceleration. So we wanna hold the ball over our head, then we wanna slam it down onto the floor as hard as they can. Then they're gonna squat down to pick it up, and then you're gonna repeat this for about three sets of 10 reps. The more explosive you are, the faster off you'll be out of the blocks or starting when you're starting to run. Now with this, you have to make sure that they slam the ball straight down or that ball can get away from you, depending on what type of medicine ball you have. Now let's work on our back and arms with resistant bands rows. A strong upper body helps maintain good running form and improve speed. So you're gonna hold the resistance bands handles with your palms, you're gonna step back until there's a little bit of tension in the band. Then we're gonna pull the handles toward our body. We're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together. Then we're gonna slowly return to the starting position. So for this, we wanna do three sets of 12. Now it's time for good old fashioned push-ups. This exercise strengthens your chest, shoulders, and arms, which are important for powerful arm swings during your sprints. So what we're doing here is we're using weights as push-up bars. Now when we do that, that helps us relieve the stress that's on the wrist and it's gonna make it a little bit easier for your youth athlete to go lower in that push-up. Now for older kids, you wanna do about three sets of 10 on these. For younger athletes, you probably wanna do three sets of six. Now let's use our resistance bands again for squats. This adds a bit more challenge to our leg workout, making our legs even stronger or faster for sprints. So they're gonna stand with the band on their feet, shoulder width apart, they're gonna hold the handles and then they're gonna perform a squat as you normally would. They're gonna keep the tension in the band. So we're gonna do three sets of 15 on these or for younger kids, you can do three sets of like eight. Stronger legs mean quicker steps. Okay, next is our medicine ball Russian twist. This is great for your core and obliques which are crucial for stability and balance when running. So you're gonna have them sit on the floor with their knees and their feet in the air. They're gonna hold the medicine ball with both hands and lean back slightly. Then they're gonna twist their torso to the right, bringing the ball beside them and touching the ground every time that they do this. You wanna do three sets of 20, and for younger kids, you probably wanna do three sets of about 10. Now there's one more thing that you have to do after this, and that's like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in the next video.